Welcome to the update, Nate Gardner with you. The earthquake death toll in Turkey and Syria stands at more than 22,000 and is expected to rise. There are calls from Save the Children to help keep people using temporary shelters warm in freezing temperatures by providing winter kits. International Programs Director Archie Law says the situation is heartbreaking. When you're dealing with the devastation of an earthquake where whole buildings, communities have have collapsed and there are the desperate searches for those who are still surviving, that takes a toll on our own staff. Staying overseas in Jerusalem, two people, including a six-year-old boy, have been killed and five others injured after they were hit in a suspected car ramming attack at a bus stop. The driver has been shot dead. Back home, as Cyclone Gabrielle edges closer, Norfolk Island off the Queensland coast is on orange alert. It's believed the system is packing destructive wind gusts up to 140 kilometres an hour. A new report is casting doubts on the effectiveness of carbon offsets in reducing emissions. The federal government scheme allows polluters to fund environment projects instead of reducing their carbon footprint. The Australian Conservation Foundation argues it just allows companies to pay to keep polluting and says coal and gas facilities should not have access to the credits program. With Valentine's Day just a few days away, a Westpac data report shows romance scams have increased by 26% since 2019. The bank's head of fraud, Ben Young, says fraudsters are tricking victims into giving money to invest rather than buying gifts. If they can trick you into thinking you're investing, they can get a lot more money out of you. So they've transitioned to things we call romance baiting. And that's where it's a romantic relationship, but they actually get you to send money off to something that you think is an investment. And researchers from the University of Queensland have discovered the active compound from an edible mushroom that boosts nerve growth and enhances memory. To Sport Now, and it's brought to you by Labbrokes Mates Mo, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. India remains in control of the first test against Australia in Nagpur, finishing day two on seven for 321, 144 runs ahead, while a stellar debut from spinner Todd Murphy taking five wickets. In rugby union, the Wallabies will host the All Blacks at the MCG leading up to September's World Cup. New coach Eddie Jones expecting Melbourne fans to get behind the team for the July 29 match. I remember watching after the Socceroos, I think, made the last 16, sitting in you know in the cold and damp of, of London and watching on the BBC the crowd in Melbourne going absolutely nuts. Yeah, and that's how much Melbourne loved their sporting team. In the NRL, the Sharks have beaten the Knights in a pre-season trial, 28-16. And in AFL, All-Australian fullback Stephen May is set to finish his career at Melbourne after signing a contract extension until 2025. In entertainment news, filmmaker Hugh Hudson, best known for his Academy Award-winning film Chariots of Fire in 1981, has died aged 86. The film won a few awards, including Best Score, you can currently hear in the background there. While Universal has dropped the trailer on Fast X, the 10th film in the long-running Fast and Furious franchise. And we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Update. 